In this MaxTow gauges installation video, we'll be showing you how to install a MaxTow diesel 30 psi fuel pressure gauge into your new body style 2007 to 2013 Duramax. For the purpose of this install, we'll be using a new body style 2007 Duramax 6.6 liter with an LMM engine to install our gauge. Prior to installation, a lift pump assembly is required for the gauge to properly read fuel pressure for the vehicle. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. For safety, disconnect the negative battery terminal before starting any work on the vehicle. On the lift pump assembly, remove the bolt from the fuel pressure sensor port. Thread the sensor into the port and tighten using a 22 millimeter wrench. Connect the sensor harness to the sensor and secure the wire away from moving parts. Run the sensor harness wire to the engine bay. Feed the harness wire through an open grommet in the firewall. If there are no open grommets, carefully make a hole in an existing grommet and feed the wires into the cabin. For this installation, we'll be installing our gauge in a single swivel pod that'll be placed on the steering column. The single swivel pod can be purchased through our website. To mount the pod, clean the mounting surface with an alcohol prep pad. Place the round adhesive onto the bottom of the pod and press the pod onto the steering column. Remove any dash panels necessary to run the sensor harness wire and power harness wires to the pod location. Feed the power harness wires through the pod and under the dash. Route the sensor harness wire through the dash and into the pod. Place the rubber sleeve from the pod onto the gauge. Plug the harnesses into the back of the gauge and insert the gauge into the pod. Depending on your chosen gauge location, you may need to extend the power wires to reach the fuse box inside the engine compartment. Do this by connecting extra wire to the corresponding colors on the power harness using wire connectors. Then, feed the opposite end of the wires into the engine bay and to the fuse box. For this installation, we'll be powering the gauges using mini expandable circuits, which can also be purchased through our website. Locate a fuse that receives constant 12 volt power. Connect the red wire from the gauge pod to the expandable circuit using the wire connector on the circuit. Remove the fuse and place it into the first expandable circuit and place the circuit into the fuse location. Locate a fuse that receives 12 volt power when the ignition is turned on. 
Connect the white wire from the gauge pod to the expandable circuit using the wire connector on the circuit. Remove the fuse and place it into the second expandable circuit. Then place the circuit into the fuse location. Locate a fuse that receives 12 volt power when the headlights are turned on. Connect the orange wire from the gauge pod to the expandable circuit using the wire connector on the circuit. Remove the fuse and place it into the third expandable circuit. And place the circuit into the fuse location. Attach a ring terminal to the black power harness wire and connect it to a clean, reliable grounding source under the dash. Reinstall any dash panels that were removed. Reconnect the negative terminal on the battery and verify that all wiring is correct. Power your gauge to ensure that everything is working properly by starting the vehicle. You've now successfully installed your Max Tow 30 PSI fuel pressure gauge into your truck. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-877-7-MAX-TOW and we'll see you on the road.